Tri-State's heroin epidemic is well documented, and dealing with it is a top priority for everyone from law enforcement to treatment. So you might expect that providing a place for heroin addicts to detox would be a welcome idea, but not so fast, says Butler County Sheriff, when you're talking about putting that detox in a nursing home. Local 12's Anjanette Levy joins us now from that nursing home in Hamilton with the debate. Hi, Anjanette. Hi, Cammie. You know, Sheriff Jones says the people who live in this nursing home don't have the money to go anywhere else, so he's speaking up for them. But a county commissioner says something must be done about the heroin epidemic. We need to do something, but the county home is not the facility. They're not equipped for it. Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones says a privately owned facility should be in charge of a detox center for heroin addicts, not the county-owned nursing home. It's not the place for someone that is having, they're in the senior years of their life, to have to contend with somebody that will do anything for these drugs. They'll steal, they'll hurt you. Every day, Sheriff Jones says he sees what people addicted to heroin go through when detoxing in his jail. He doesn't believe the Butler County Care Center has the proper security or staff to deal with heroin addicts. But County Commissioner Cindy Carpenter says the center would hire an addiction specialist, use drugs such as Vivitrol and Suboxone to ease withdrawal symptoms, and addicts would be carefully screened. The county will be able to determine if an individual is someone we are willing to help in our facility. So it will not be as if any person can come to the door and walk in and say, hey, I want to detox here today. There's a very structured setting. We spoke with a handful of people who live there. Most didn't know what to think of the proposed detox center, but resident Tracy Day supports it. I think that it's great. I think that there's a lot of people out there that are on drugs or alcoholics that need help, and there's just certainly not enough places for help in Butler County. Meanwhile, Sheriff Jones is steadfast in his opposition. It's like mixing oil and water. It will not mix. We called the director of the center and reached out to other staff members in an effort to talk with him tonight, but our calls were not returned. Reporting live in Hamilton, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cammie, back to you. All right, Anjanette, thank you. And the Butler County Commissioners will hear more from the medical director of the care center next month. Concerns about security will be addressed at that time.